Hi everybody, here's Christian, and I am a cat princess. I am become death, napper of worlds. <laughs> arr, arr. Is, is that what Blanca does for, as, a, as a sound effect, as a, as a speech? Yes, mm -hmm. sounds like it. Hmm. All right, work. guys, so this is our last play of Monsanto Generations. And this is a quest we already did, as you can tell by Cthulhu's um, costume. Uh, but it was a fun yeah. quest, so we, de uh, we did it kind of like to, to upgrade our stuff. And it was a fun quest, so we decided to actually make it part of the full thing. Yeah, it's an event quest, so it wasn't planned to be in part of the series, but it's fun. Hmm. It's the Street Fighter Ultimate Entrance Exam. We have to hunt all the monsters, which is a Volvodon and a Great Macau in the arena. And it's from the pink-clad karate man. Hmm. Are you here to join us? In that case, let's get the exam started. You must take on my most dedicated disciples. If you can beat them, I just might let you become my nudist student. So is the pink-clad karate man, is that Dan? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it yeah, that be, has to be, must yeah. Must be Dan, right? Yeah. That's a good, that's good picking up on that there, Christian. Some some nice uh, nice lore going on here. Um, yeah, so this is probably the most difficult cat quest we ever did. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. It was it was long and grueling, and it, it failed. There's a good chance course, we're going to fail. <laughs> of course, I now have the proper cat. I've got proper skills. Like that was part of the issue. Is my mm -hmm. my normal fighting cat was. That's on your farm excuse? trips. Well, my cat is still so. the same, so I'm just saying. Uh, by the way, the I love love um, your your costume, Shepard. What what kind of costume is that? Uh, this is just uh, from playing the cat mini game a bunch. You get some secret items. Hmm. It's not from an actual monster. It's the huh. death stench. It looks Which like has a. Actually been around in the series for some time. It looks like a scream monster, a uh, scream guy. Yeah, it's it's kind of fun looking, isn't it? Mm, this is pretty nice. I want to scare the monsters. Cthulhu is way, uh, wearing that thing that you can get uh, from this quest, which is a uh, yep. Blanca costume. You can also get a Chang Li costume. For cats yeah. or for your hunter? For cats. for cats. And I am wearing uh, Raytheon. See, and I am already, already dying, and I need to now do a bunch of horns. Dig. I regret wearing the set. Oh no! <laughs> all the, oh, all, all the, please, 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 all the go. roars. Jesus, the healing on that is so minuscule. <laughs> He's wow. using herb horns. Yeah. Don't worry, I, I will take care of the healing. <laughs> Jeez, he has got some like real speed on him. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, so about that quest. It was a difficult quest. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're, we're playing this. Uh, we're, yep. we're being recorded while we're doing it. Um, so let's let's talk about some news. What are some yes. news? Uh, new, new trailer came out for Monster Hunter. Uh, whatever it's going to be. Double Cross. Uh -huh. Yep. Generation Generation X. Ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, kind of showed off a little bit more of the alchemy style, which appears to be mm. something like... Those are hunter arts. It's like it's like you get a special set of hunter arts or something like that along those lines that allow group buffs or special effects, things along those lines. Yeah. So it's really for the people that kind of want to play sort of a support role, but don't want to play a cat. Hmm. You know, it gives you gives you some flexibility there, which is neat. You know, I like that. Showed off a lot of um, some interesting things. It seems to be like there's group arts now. Or, or nice. at least that was my impression, and that everybody w was doing these things uh, in synchronization. Now it could have just been, you know, coordinated funny, attacks, co coordinated um, camera work. But I, I think that'd be kind of neat. It almost it seemed kind of like Power Rangers in a way, is, is the sense yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. So you have so you have like a like a special attack that you have to team up together with other guys. To, yeah, to or like up. a special buff or something like that. Hmm. Um, they showed I, a little bit more of the Prowler yeah. stuff, Cthulhu, which it, it really looks like that'll be a full-fledged full, full a, lot, fledged a lot more play. interested. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, there's some really interesting combos it looks like he was pulling off. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, but it's it I am really in so the thing is like I lo have a lot of friends who were into Monster Hunter 4, didn't really hop on the bandwagon on the generations, but who are actually looking forward to the um to the double X double cross. I mean as somebody who's played the series for some time, it seems so strange to me because I thought four uh, four I didn't enjoy that much. You know, I, I greatly yeah. enjoy Generations, but for it was it was really it, this is going to sound stupid. It was really the graphical style. Yeah. There was something weird going on. I, I still don't know why. I really need like a graphic designer to tell me <laughs> what they did. What happened? All right. So, um, you know how like Street Fighter Two had that unique sound for like when you hit somebody that tonk tonk sound. Yeah. When you that's, wear the Blanca you. outfit, every hit makes that sound. So when you're using, like, piercing nice. boomerangs, <laughs> it sounds hilarious. <laughs> this gas goes pretty far, huh? Uh, yeah. Luckily, the cats are not affected by the gas. They don't, they don't, they don't mind if it stinks. It does, it does do a lot of damage yeah. to cats, well, though. Well, of course. Like, it does, it does more damage than it normally would, probably. Um, yeah, so I, I have a lot of people. The, the thing is with Monster Hunter 4, it was maybe the graphical style was weird, but it was like the overall package was very consistent. Well, you got a lot of game. There's a lot. I mean, but then again, you get a lot of game for Generations too. So I don't know. I don't know. If yeah, but it's. I feel like anymore. Generations are like all over the place in terms of <laughs> how it looks and how it feels. Uh, uh, and what's all about? And and Monster Hunter Four was very focused. It was like, yes, we are doing this well, vertical thing now. It had a good now. story. It had a very good story. Yes. And if that's something that your friends care about, some then really I, good I characters see... too. Uh, some really nice progression. You really yeah. felt like you're you're going from you know one challenge to another. Did we kill him? Yep. Get your cars. <gasps> yeah. We him. Oh my gosh! This is way better than yesterday, Stulu. <laughs> I mean, that took yeah. about six minutes. I mean. Yeah, really we need to have this. We need half an hour last time around. You know, just saying, just for the Volvodon or for both. Yeah, yeah the the Macau drops really quick, relatively speaking. But I I I need to see if the Chun Li set will make the same sounds as this. Because if it does, I'll probably switch to it. Because yeah, Chun Li's also. I'm trying nice. to kill <laughs> you guys. We have to also no, um, re uh, point out that Chun Li uh, she has like knuckles that you can get. The Chun Li knuckles, yep. and they have like their paw shaped. Yeah. Whereas uh, Blanca gets a fish. Yeah. For a some reason. Tuna. Not sure, really sure why he gets a fish. Because he likes to eat fish. Yeah, he likes to eat fish. He, he eats a fish. Yeah. There's even there, I want to say there was even a mini game one in one of the games where he just eat patch buttons to make him eat as much fish as possible. Okay. Well, here shows how much I know about Street Fighter lore. All right, let's get to this Macau and finish this off. Um, it's kind of weird how he's the second monster. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of times they'll front load the 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 difficulty in these quests and um, generations. Last time we played the quest, we we something that we pointed out is that the Macau and the Volvodon are both probably feel very much like Blanca. They fight very much like Blanca. Well, no, so Macau is Chun-Li because oh, of the kicks. Kicks. Oh, right. But he also has, like, the yeah. gr green fur like Blanca does. So. Oh, yeah. well, no, but... And then Volvodon rolls up like Blanca. Yeah. 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 That... <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch on both sides, but I... I'll go for it. Oh, no, no, it's not... Like, ki like, Macau is the kicking monster in Generations, and Chun-Li is the kicking monster in Monster... Yeah. And but his Street kicks Fighter. are so terrible. I, well, like, like, like to, uh, <laughs> it's, it's... But what she's known for is that rapid fire, like. Yep. And where if it was E Honda, it would be you know Rojan because of the punching fists. Oh please no! <laughs> please stop. Um, I'm having a harder time with this Macau. Yes. Yeah, he's actually surprisingly difficult. He's doing so much damage. Yes. 
So something I um, that people that in my my friends who are like who are asking me is like, is is uh, the double cross is uh, is that going to be a launch title for the Switch? That's something that a lot of people are very excited about. The answer is. The uh, answer it, is... I, I almost guarantee you it will be a launch title for the Switch in Japan. Shepard, I you, could you, see you, it we... being a very early release. Yeah, I mean, I there's no way. Nintendo, the, the fact that Nintendo it comes basically out in publishes March. Monster Hunter now, at least in the West. Yeah. You know, they're going to want it. You know, it's sold well enough. And all their other IPs have kind of been flagging a little bit, so they kind of need to get another one out there in, in this territory that people can kind of rally behind. I'm writing it! I'm writing it! Yes! Look who's talking now! <laughs> I'm the princess and I'm writing it! The Raytheon Cat Princess! Yes! <laughs> Um, Shepard, you saw the um, Jimmy Fallon thing, right? Yeah. It looked neat, man. It's good. What? It's ready to go, right? It, I said well, it looked they, neat. Well, they showed the switch off at the Jim, Jimmy Fallon thing. Yeah, I saw it. Looked yeah. good. It looked good. Looked real good. Looked really Smooth. Good. You know, I mean, it does seem like it's a supercharged Android tablet, as best I can tell. Yes. But, well, I mean, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know. I'm, I'm those, down. You have good graphics, right? I mean, the the Nvidia Shield has always been like one of the best like gaming tablets. So it's if it's if it's of an overpowered, overcharged uh, 3DS, I'm down with this. Oh yeah, I mean, well, the 3DS is so old. Yeah, and we're so playing this game on 3DS, so you know, it's not like the 3DS is, is a, it would be a, a is, is kind of like inferior or anything. It's that's one so constant race. Well, I mean, the the weird thing is with the 3DS is it came out a little after the Vita, but yet had less processing power than the Vita. <laughs> is that accurate? Yeah. Uh, well. Did the Vita come out first? I'm gonna take your word for it, Cthulhu. I think it did. I think so too. Oh. At least the same, roughly the same time. Um. Okay, this just shows that that um, we need the three of us. The, it's 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 the three of us. If one of the three musketeers is missing, it's just not working. We need the three of us. Okay, so, the Vita came out same year as the 3DS, just ten months later. It's such, I mean, as a console, it's so much better. Yeah. You know, I I, I wish I could go back in time and figure out the the Vita. Yeah. Now, I think the only reason it, now this is going to be really presumptive. I think the only reason it failed is because they lost Monster Hunter. Uh, well, well for the, Japan, the main reason it fair, failed was because Sony didn't market it at all. Yeah. It, it was it, supposed it had to be that your same thing as, uh, what was PS4. it, the Sega Saturn? Like, it just released to market and no one ever talked about so, it. So, I think a, a big issue is there was this whole concept of cross buy yeah. that nobody and they never, ever utilized. Yeah. yeah. You know? There's like, maybe like one title a... where I did this. Dra uh, Dragon's not Dogma. No, Dragon's that didn't Crown happen. Is like the only it cross, cross by. Dragon's if, Dogma if wasn't every... cross by. No, not Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown. But you you had to get it separately. But like if yeah, every yeah, there was no cross by. There was a cross save, I think, was it? But like there should have been bundles. Like if there were bundles that was like yeah. ten dollars more and get a Vita copy, like. I think it would have done great. I mean, yeah, the yeah. publisher wouldn't have been getting the maximum amount of money, but who really went out and bought two copies of the same game? Yeah. That's you know? the thing. If you buy a game, you have a very specific idea of where you want to play it. And and then it's like getting in that same game on another console. It's like, why? why? So here's the really weird thing, Christian. Hmm. Really wrap your head around this. I could go out and buy a PlayStation 3 copy of Dragon's Crown and a Vita mm. copy of Dragon's Crown, or I could just remote play into my PlayStation 3. Yep. What, what what world were they living in where they're like, you know what? I think we really need to put a paywall behind this because if people own it on one console, if they buy it on the other console, we get twice as much money. We're going to be rich. All right, guys. <laughs> this, is good. this has gotten very, very, very um, business analytical kind of stuff. So we're going to move on to the next quest where amazing things will happen. We're going to maybe discuss some more Switch kind of stuff. And we wish you as always good luck and good hunt.
The Vita's gonna put my kid through college. <laughs> the Vita will yes, c- yes, it cure is. this disease. Uh, it, it could have. It's great, great console. I love it. I spilled a beer on mine. I really, I really need to clean it. Mine is soaked in beer. I, I, I can't play it. I hate sticky buttons. I, I have is there two, a service. I have two great games on it that are waiting for me, and and that's Persona Four and Final Fantasy X. Christian, I need you to send me your techniques on how to break down consoles and clean them. <laughs> Haven't you done? Haven't you cleaned like? Yeah, but Game, Game Boy Boys, originals? they're indestructible. You think I'll mess up my Vita? You might. You might have. Uh, it's worth it. It's already messed up. All right, I'm I'm stopping. I'm going to try and break it down. I've got a Vita TV, but it's just like every time I'm at my TV, I'm like, why am I playing a Vita game? What's that smell? Oh, Squatty Potty brought to you by Squatty Potty. <laughs>